Hey there, and welcome back to Surgeon Simulator 2013. And today, we are going to be doing the brain surgery, or the brain transplant, in fact. So, um, as you can see, this is my, my worst uh, milliliter result of all my operations, but also the quickest of all my operations, which is probably, uh, probably why I have lost so much blood on this one. So, let's go ahead and see the setup we've got. Here we go. So we've got a dude with uh, with his head all shaven and the skin cut back so that we can get right at his uh, his bony cranium right there. Now we've got a, a couple of well a new tool here which is uh, which is the heart axe, not heart axe, the, the brain axe. This one right here. We're supposed to use this to uh, to cut the brain stem, but um, no, because that's a really bad idea. Uh, so, I just realised I haven't actually had to use the, uh, oh, shit, I'm going to get rid of this thing because it's in the way. Um, you haven't actually had to use this thing yet, the, uh, the green thing. I'm sure you'll need to. Uh, I don't think I want that, but I'm going to put that up here just in case. That is the antidote for the, uh, for the green thing right here. If you prick yourself and get hallucinations, uh, you can use that to, uh, to remove it. So... First things first, we need the bone saw, because of course his cranium is made of bone and I kind of screwed up that grab. Uh, no, I don't want... I don't want the clock. Thank you. I don't want that either. Now there is achievement here for throwing everything on the floor in the brain surgery, which you can actually still do and still complete it, because there is of course the uh, the laser over here, which you can use. I'm not going to because it's an absolute death trap, but um, you can use the laser to uh, to complete the entire surgery. I, it would be nice if I could turn this thing around. I really don't want it at this angle. There we go. Well, that's fucking annoying. I'm going to cut my own wrist open here. Oh, come on. I want to drop it like this. There we go. That's a bit better. Right. Let's grab it like that. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Okay. So... Now what we need to do is just very lightly go at his skull here, which is, uh, as you can see, very brittle. So it will just come away quite easily. So we have to be very careful with the uh, with the touches we have. Actually, want to get rid of that bit. There we go. Now we need to turn this the other way around so we can get at the other side. Just gentle touches, there we go, just making sure we don't cut either the support for his head or uh, or his brain. Oh, apparently we did cut both the supports there, that's kind of annoying. Not quite sure how I managed that, but okay. There we go, right. Uh, I just want to get rid of that little bit right there, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's alright. Let's uh, put this down, just in case we need it again. I don't think we will, but uh, just in case. So, now... Now that his brain is exposed, we have to uh, go in there and palm it. Arr. Oh, there we go. Now we have to pull it out. Actually, that worked really well, because that's pretty much where I want it to be, even though it's, like, you know, all, like, dodgy like that. But actually, that's fine, because it means I've got a much easier way to get at his, uh, at his brain stem. Now, you're supposed to use this thing right here, but I find that to be clumsy and imprecise, whereas if I grab this thing... I can just chop it off like that. There we go, and his brain goes bye bye. So uh, there we go. That's uh, that's how we chop that out nice and easily. And then all we need to do is just drop his brain into place, and done. Oh, sweet blasphemy! Okay, I unlocked a uh, an achievement right there. So we only lost. Uh, oh, that's because I did it with uh, losing less blood. So uh, we only lost. What was that? 346 milliliters of blood. We did it in three and a, uh, well, three and three quarter minutes. Uh, wait, three quarters to two third minutes, and uh, that went really well. And uh, this video has only been like three minutes long, so you're going to get a twofer. What we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next one. See, it still hasn't saved my actual personal best. Maybe it goes on time, I guess. Anyway. So that's the, th the first three operations done, and seeing as though this was only like three minutes long right there, I'm going to go ahead and do the next one as well, which is in the ambulance. Basically you have the same uh, same operations to do, 
but you're in an ambulance to do it. Now, I don't know why I've got an A++ on this one when I don't on the one that's on the operating table, because these ones are much harder. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the uh, the, the heart transplant. Actually, no, should I do the brain transplant in the in the thing? No, let's do the let's do the brain transplant here. I know it's in a weird order, but um, seems like we've just done the brain transplant. Let's do the brain tra brain transplant again in the ambulance, and you'll see why this is annoying in just a moment. Okay, so we're in the ambulance. Here's all the stuff. You can see the brain bobbing in the jar there, and that should give you the first indication of what the hell's about to happen. So. What we need to do, there we go, that's what's about to happen. All the in instruments and things are getting thrown about and uh, it can get very easy to lose things. Especially tools or the replacement organs, which is very awkward, especially when the doors open on the back like that. So, uh, I did not, my shit, no, don't lose the saw, don't lose the saw. I forgot that this one also causes quite a bit of FPS lag, so you have to forgive me for that. Right, let's put this down, and grab it again, that's weird, come on. It basically messes with gravity, this one, it's a bit weird. Anyway, his uh, head supports are broken already, so, whoa, okay, so he's bleeding because he got hit in the head with an oxygen tube thing. Let's, uh... Whoa! Whoa! Fuck me, driver! I just, like, cut half his brain out. There we go, let's just chop this stuff off the back. Whoa. The FPS lag does not help in this situation, I, I can assure you. Whoa! Left and right, they're flying all over the place! Seriously? Can you not keep the ambulance going in a straight line for just one second. Okay, let's put that over here. Let's get that bit of crud off his head. Get that watch out of here. Uh, the FPS is awful right now. I'm sorry about that. Alright, can we pull his brain out, please? Alright. All right. In the ambulance, it doesn't tend to want to uh, to fly out to the side like it does in uh, in the surgery room. Sometimes you can get it to, but uh, it's difficult. So, what we're going to need to do... Is this plane just flopping around everywhere. Okay, so I don't think we've lost any tools yet, which is nice. Now then, would you please... There we go, we can actually see the underside now, but I can't see any... I have, I have no knives! There's some knives. Right, any knife will do. Just give me a knife. What knife have I got? Any? No, I've got no knife. Give me a knife. Any knife. I don't care what one. Any knife will do. Any knife will do. Give me a knife. Whoa. Right, okay. I can get that one. Give me. Give me the knife. Okay, that wasn't the one I was trying to get, but alright. Fine. We're losing blood this entire time, but the... Uh... Right, can I get in underneath his brain? That's not good. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... Oh great! Did you did you have to really? Can you just go over to the over to the side, please? Come on, just over somewhere that I can see his brain stem. That'd be great. Come on, come on! I can't see his brain stem to cut it. If I could see his brain stem, I would get this over and done with. But I can't. Come on. Uh, great. This is probably the worst position I could be in while holding a scalpel. Right, please. Whoa, crazy FPS lag. Now then, would you please just get your brain out of your head? I know that sounds like a strange request, but uh, yeah, seriously, just get it out. Or just, alright, stay like that. I can probably cut it from there. Just, ow, shit, I don't want to be stabbing him in the head. Or in the brain. Damn it, missed. Come on. There we go. Right. Okay, let's quickly get that out and get the other one in before he bleeds to death. Come on. Come on. There we go. Grab the brain. Grab the brain. There we go. And this is where it's going to open the doors and like fling me around. And there we go. Right. We got D ranking. But at least he got his brain surgery. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that brain surgery could wait until we got to the hospital. But, um... Oh, there goes his brain. Okay, I don't think he's going to make it. Um, 
yeah, uh, I think he's a goner. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Um, we, we did still finish the operation, apparently. Um, I'll, I'll just get the uh, the assisting to, uh, to to you know finish up and close her up. So we lost uh, well nearly three thousand, like two thousand eight hundred or something uh, blood, and it took us four minutes and fifteen seconds, which actually isn't bad in an ambulance. But there you can see basically the gist of uh, of the brain transplant in an ambulance. It's uh, that's probably the hardest one to do in the ambulance actually. Uh, well, it's supposed to be, but um, yeah, it is because you can't get it like right off the side and just tap the brain off like I did before. But anyway. Those were the brain surgeries, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching those, and come back next time when we're going to go back to the start of the list, we're going to go do heart transplant next time, then we'll do kidney transplant, and then we will do the final operation, which is a little bit special, and uh, I'm going to save that for, a, for a, couple of, a couple of videos down the line. So, I hope you've enjoyed the brain transplants, and I will see you next time for the heart transplant in an ambulance. The, uh, oh, shit, I'm going to get rid of this thing because it's in the way. Um, you haven't actually had to use this thing yet, the uh, the green thing. I'm sure you'll need to. Uh, I don't think I want operations, but also the quickest of all my operations, which is probably uh, probably why I have lost so much blood in this one. So let's go ahead and see the setup we've got. Here we go. So we've got a dude with. Uh... Hey there, and welcome back to Surgeon Simulator 2013. And today. We are going to be doing the brain surgery, or the brain transplant, in fact. So, um, as you can see, this is my my worst uh, milliliter result of all my of the, the brain axe. This one right here. We're supposed to use this to uh, to cut the brain stem, but um, no, because that's a really bad idea. Uh, so, I just realised I haven't actually had to use with his head all shaven and the skin cut back, so that we can get right at his. Uh, his bony cranium right there. Now we've got a, a couple of, well, a new tool here, which is uh, which is the heart axe, not heart axe, 